Hi, I'm Gautami. In this video, we will see how to retain or avoid eliminating the leading or trailing spaces in a map with output or destination profile as XML. Trailing or leading spaces will be removed in the map, and it is an expected behavior in Boomi so as to avoid the unexpected characters or spaces to be added within the field values. But for some reasons or requirement, if you need those leading or trailing spaces for your field values, you can use the workaround that we will see in this video. So let's get started. I have already created a sample process that you could see here. So if you could see, this is the sample payload that I'm using for my process. And if you could see here, in the under the name, I have added uh, two uh, spaces uh for my field value joey and for the contact i also i have added three uh leading spaces uh for this contact as well so i want to retain these spaces for these two uh fields so before checking this we'll see what is the expected behavior in boomi uh so there is a map uh json is mapping to an xml profile so we'll just uh, quickly test this process to see uh, what is the expected output here. So the expected output is the map should remove all the spaces that we have added for this uh, both these field values. So first we'll see the input of the uh, map. So if you could see in the JSON profile, there were spaces for the name field and contact as well. Uh, so we have added a leading and trailing spaces for these two uh, fields. And uh, as we know, for the output XML, so these spaces should get removed. You could see there are no spaces uh, that have been retained for these two uh, a fail. So what we'll do is that I just wanted to retain these uh, spaces. So uh, there is a workaround. So you can add a data process shape before your map, which search and replace the spaces with some arbitrary text. Uh, and you can also use that. Uh, and then you can use a data process shape after the map, which searches these arbitrary text that you have added before the map and replace it with space. So Let's do this. Take a data process shape. So I'm using search and replace. My text to find with is just a space. And I'll replace it with some at the rate. OK, I'm adding it before my map. So the next after the map would be the data process. Again, it is search and replace. Now I'll replace this arbitrary text that is at the rate with the space. So here, what exactly we are doing is map. Uh, a map can eliminate uh, the spaces for output XML. It cannot eliminate any other uh, characters that we add. So I am adding some uh, arbitrary text uh, value for that space so that uh, we will have uh, this a particular uh, character that we are adding as an output and where again i can search for that like uh, for that character that i have added and it and i can replace it with space so that is what we have done so far i'll just quickly test this Sometimes if you feel it is taking time, you can cancel your test execution and rerun a new one. But uh, let's wait for some time. Yes, it's done. So first, we'll see what is the input that is going to my map. So there are two spaces before Joey, so which were replaced with at the rate. And for contact after this uh, numeric value, I've added three spaces and they have been replaced with at the rate. 
so and this output xml will have these characters as well so as we are replacing them with space so we will have the desired output after our data process shape yes so you could see it here we have two spaces before joey and three spaces after contact so this is what our desired output and this is a sample workaround that we can use so this is how you can retain the leading or trailing spaces in a map for the output XML. Thank you.